superlatives for Maya. Maya was an innovator. My goofball. Extremely generous. <laughs> a, a prankster. Maya was a ton of fun. A leader. Maya was a hippie. As a family man. Maya was a husband. Uh, I, I, you know, uh, an inventor, an artist. Maya was colored socks. Maya was a ladies' man. Maya Romanoff remains a force to be reckoned with in the design community. Uh, an extremely ambitious man. Extremely experimental with amazing products. Maya was my hero. He was the person that would wear those socks <laughs> and enjoy it. <laughs> When, when I think of Maya, I think of the first memories that I have of him when I was a little girl and I would be at my grandparents' house and he would come in in this wave of like patchouli and tie-dye and captains and long hair and just a cool guy. The first time I met Maya was like meeting, what, you know, a rock star, somebody really you heard about and read about and the fact that I got to meet him and be so up close and personal was great. He found his life's work in a tie-dye t-shirt that he saw at Woodstock and all, all his life he had been a, a poet, a writer, a figure drawer. Fabric uh, materials really set him free because then it was all about the material itself, about coaxing out the beauty of whatever the material it was and he just completely immersed himself in it. When you're in a creative field like design, you're doing it because there's something inside that's pushing you beyond the idea of just making money. That's just part of what you are and what you want to do. And I think with someone like Maya Romanoff, he found that very early and it just blossomed, it evolved. What was most important to Maya was to feel connected. So be it connected to the material or the people that he worked with or um, his clients, or his wife. Joyce completely transformed his life. He kind of got this Insta family. He got children, he got grandchildren, and it created this atmosphere for him of acceptance and love in a, in a way that he could just let himself enjoy life. Everyone always wanted to talk to him and everyone always wanted to be around him because there is this spirit. You just knew that he was someone that was touched by something special. Everything about that that makes them successful is about him, the person, and the way he is with people in the world and how that then is manifested through the things he does, whether it's wall covering or fabric or being supportive of other creative people. In his eyes, you could always see this positive spirit it's even through his limitations. And really, it's, it's just wonderful because his legacy is gonna last forever and go on to generations because of this wonderful company and his family who are so close and who are continuing in the craft of what he created. Maya is about the aura of love and respect for yourself and then what you do every day and make sure that every day you live is something meaningful. I hope that that when people think of, that, of him, that they don't just think of the products that he made, but who he was as a, as a guy. He was really just a, a funny, interesting, lovely, cool guy.